Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac. We played as Isaac last time, a run that ended up turning out, well, we'll, we'll go over what happened on that one, but what the, essentially this means is that uh, this is my random run, and we're going to be playing as Judas, which is actually kind of awesome, because it's been forever since I've had a Judas run, and uh, I very much like that we are starting on uh, a non-XL floor, so I don't have to worry about my key situation too much. But anyway, let's talk about the last run. Uh, very, very aggressively played, uh, basically took enough deals with the devil to put myself uh, at zero hearts, and then kind of got uh, very very, very lucky, we could say, with the, uh, oh my god, there's so many goddamn uh, tinted rocks, I have no bombs. Uh, but anyway, let, let's put it this way, this is a terrible boss fight, I might actually die here if I get a little bit unlucky. Um, but very aggressively took some deals with the devil, took Lord of the Pit on the first floor, which I actually earned by, uh, weirdly enough, getting a red chest in, like, the second secret room, I think, that, like... Or, I, I can't remember. Yeah, it was the second secret room, and then I teleported into a deal with the devil on the very first floor, which almost never happens. Uh, ended up picking up Lord of the Pit so I could fly right off the bat. That is, uh, we didn't get an HP upgrade, but we did get an Eternal Heart, which is essentially an HP upgrade. Anyway, apparently I can't finish a coherent thought here. Um, basically, put myself in a pretty tough spot after that by taking the Pact and having zero health. Got lucky with a few Eternal Hearts, and all of a sudden, uh, we ended up in a pretty good position. And the, the coup de gras, I guess you could say, at the very end was when I took nine lives, ended up becoming... Uh, oh, that was the worst dodge of all time. Uh, ended up becoming uh, Guppy, and my flies did a crazy amount of damage. It was kind of close at the end because I didn't have very much HP, as you might gather by the way that... Uh, you know, I've talked about that run so far. We were oftentimes a little bit on edge with respect to our health. Please tell me I get some bombs at some point here. Still have one more room, I just came back here because I, I wanted to give myself a little insurance that if I got hit, I wouldn't die. Um, but yeah, the, the run ended up turning out very nicely, and it was another example of how aggressive play oftentimes uh, can reward you. I totally did not even realize that we had not gone to the item room yet on this floor. But anyway, we're playing as Judas here, so Judas automatically gets like a, a .25 times damage bonus, is that how that works? Weirdly enough, we also got Shoop the Whoop in our first item room on the last game, but uh, obviously on this game, this isn't going to be uh, very meaningful for us at all, unfortunately. And we are going to miss two Eternal Hearts as well as the money or treasure chest that would have come associated. Sorry, not not two Eternal Hearts. We're going to miss two Tinted Rocks along with the money or treasure chest that would have been associated with that pickup as well. So that's pretty unfortunate, but on the bright side, we did manage to pick up an Eternal Heart. That's pretty nice. So, um, you know, health is obviously your number one concern when you're playing as Judas. Uh, ooh, I almost went into that uh, curse room, which is something I want to do, but just not right away. Um, yes, Judas, as, as I recall, uh, has some kind of, like, passive damage bonus, which makes all of his damage do, like, 25% more, something like that, anyway. And another HP upgrade. This is actually pretty nice. And I will pop... Oh, I, I fucked it up a little bit. You're not supposed to pop, uh, Book of Belial as soon as you walk into a room, because sometimes you can get double spawns like this. That's just bad play, but actually, weirdly enough, it's, it, it may have actually made this room easier. Now we get a bomb, now that I might not need it. We have no keys, that sucks, but again, at least we picked up uh, an item already, so... Um, I, even if I don't get to go to the item room on this floor, we, we, you know, tried. And I thought about walking into the uh, secret room, but I think I'd rather just spend a bomb than risk my health any more than is absolutely necessary at this point. Please fly, thank you. Uh, if we get some more HP, then maybe I'll consider it, but for now, uh, I'm A-OK -okay with this. That was uh, fairly bad damage to take, I thought for sure that spider would be dead. Sadly, no. Um, and in here we get a key, which is going to allow us to go to the item room on this floor. Possibly the shop, but in all likelihood uh, the item room, because the shop is uh, not necessarily viable with only five cents. In fact, it's very rarely viable with five cents unless you're looking to buy something very small and in particular. But first things first, um, you know, three HP as Judas is an extraordinarily nice position to be in right off the very bad. In fact, it does make it possible for us to play this blood bank, although I'm a little bit skeptical about um, whether or not that would be the right play. We get uh, the Ouija board, which is actually pretty awful. I don't know. It, it, it's debatable how well this would work out for us. If we get the ability to fly by way of something other than Spirit of the Night, it's pretty good. It does make it much more difficult for us to shoot poops and fires, though. Which are pretty valuable, you know? Like, you don't always um, consider it, but, you know, you can maybe get enough money out of a poop or a fire to pick up uh, an item from the shop, and then all of a sudden, as a result of good poops and good fires, you have, you know, picked up Blue Candle or something like that, and Bob's your uncle, you've won the game. Uh, Jesus Juice is another damage bonus, which is awesome. So we'll take this, and... Probably not the Forget-Me-Now. I thought about it briefly, but the, um... The Book of Belial is just too good for me to pass up just for one more item room. And maybe the ability to go to the shop. And the boss room item, of course. But anyway, sure, we got Jesus Juice. That's, that's something. Um, 
I'm going to bomb my way into the secret room, which I believe is down here. And then I'll use a little bit of my health to, uh... Yeah, I'll use a little bit of my health to play the blood bank, but not too much. In fact, we may actually... At this point, the shop actually is worthwhile. Um, so I'll walk into there, and I'll probably pick up whatever's for sale, unless it's an active item. Because we know for sure that there is not going to be a greed in the, uh, the second shop that we come across. So, it's a portable slot. That's actually absolutely awful. Um... We might be able to get lucky for three cents, I can buy a heart. So, that's fairly tempting considering there's a blood bank right here, because I can probably average three cents just for playing it. Um, so I think we'll get a little low on health here. This is scary, but uh, I think it's it's worth the risk to possibly snag the extra HP upgrade. So unfortunately we didn't get it, um, but we will be up to uh, one and a half hearts along with 17 cents. There is a spirit heart in here as well. There is. Okay, so I'll buy this for eight cents, and then I will be able to get another two plays out of the spirit heart here. Uh, or sorry, not two plays out of the spirit heart. Two plays out of the uh, the red hearts that I have, and still survive with the spirit heart. So um, I should be able to get back up to fifteen cents. And again, this gives me a reasonably better chance to get the. Um, uh, well, first off, we got back to fifteen cents, which is good. But then also, um, I can possibly have a better chance to get the HP upgrade. Obviously, it didn't work out like that, but that's fine. Uh, we put in a little bit of effort. We probably spent as much as we earned, and I ended up losing some health as a result, but that's okay. Now, um, white fake meat thing has to die soon here, because he's going to make it substantially more difficult to dodge. But as of right now, I am very pleased with the way that this Judas run is going. Uh, I've put in a, a decent amount of risk, but we've also managed to uh, mitigate a lot of that risk early on by getting all these HP upgrades, which is really the concern. Um, you know, the, the concern when you have a Judas run is like, if the RNG decides not to give me HP upgrades, I, you can't do anything. You, you're just, you're fucked, basically. Um, I'm tempted to go, to go to the shop, and in fact, now I will go to the shop, uh, that we have two keys, but I was just gonna go to the item room first. Anarchist Cookbook, obviously, uh, absolutely god-awful. Uh, what it will allow me to do here is take damage. <laughs> no, I, I was thinking it would allow me to hit the poop without actually shooting it, which is nice when you have, um... You know, the Ouija board, which makes it fairly difficult to actually shoot it. Obviously, that was a dumb risk, but it was funny nonetheless, so I'm okay with it. And another key compensates for the key that we lost, but not the uh, opportunity that we lost from that being a, a terrible item room. That being said, found the secret room by accident, so maybe that'll um, atone for that, and we'll be able to pick up some kind of item in there. Can't afford to just continuously get bad item rooms. That's the third item room in a row that we've had uh, nothing to do with. Alright, well, I, I will get that penny now that it's freed. Unicorn Horn, that is, uh, you know, maybe the fourth item that we've come across in three floors that we want nothing to do with. Fifth, if you count the, um, portable slot from that, uh, earlier shop. In any case, what I'm getting at here is, uh, RNG hasn't been fantastic so far, but the fact that we've gotten the HP upgrade and the Eternal Heart and Jesus Juice is, is fine. That's actually pretty good. Plus, we have enough money to possibly, uh, buy something amazing right here. Notched Axe. Okay, so it's gonna be one of those games, is it? Uh, considering my key use, I think it would be smart to pick up uh, one more here. <clears throat> and we will uh, get back to full health and check out this tarot card as well. Definitely go to the curse room at the end of this floor. I'm just not sure uh, when that'll be. Even if it costs me the spirit heart, I think it's well worth it to go to the, the curse room just in case it contains a, you know, guppies item or uh, something even better than that, just a random deal with the devil item. That would, uh, we could basically get more or less for free, or for a spirit heart, I guess, in this situation. If we lose the spirit heart naturally first, that might be for the best, but, uh, the Hierophant. Okay, so we're, we're not gonna lose the spirit heart naturally first, but, um, the Hierophant is one of those cards that, again, it, it's better if you save it for later, I think. It's not as better if you save it for later, E, as a card like the Sun, or, uh, you know, the, uh, I was gonna say Engineer, but, I mean, the Emperor. Um, okay, this is awful. <laughs> <laughs> we continue to just like exclusively get um, some of the worst possible payouts that I could possibly imagine. Uh, obviously, not thrilled about the prospect of fighting Chad here and getting little Chad. Well, fighting Chad is not so bad. If I take damage, you know, who gives a shit, basically. Um, it's, it's fine. There goes that Spear Heart, so now I can feel better about walking into the Curse Room. Uh, but getting little Chad is like, it doesn't really matter all that much. It's basically like getting some life steal. Uh, it's a little bit better than lifesteal, probably, because we can actually use it for, um, you know, we can bank hearts on a floor and then use them all at once on a blood bank or something like that, but still pretty horrible. Um, and no deal with the devil afterwards is nasty as well. Might as well finish off the rest of this floor before we, uh, leave here. Oh, I'm a lucky man. Not a lucky man anymore. Um, oh my god, I'm gonna get hit, like, three times here. If not more, holy shit, I'm almost dead. Okay, um, curse room, a little scary. 
We can still go in as long as... Uh, I don't want to accidentally get hit by a spider. That's my concern. Um, and I guess we could always use the hero font after we walk into the curse room. And we have the strength card. I don't know if that... If we use the strength card, do we end up taking damage on our way out? I have no idea. We'll see. Um, I, yeah, I have no idea. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, could use a bomb to get a key. Whatever. Uh, inside of our red chest, we get a troll bomb. We'll pop our strength card. So I should be at one and a half when I walk out. I'm at, I'm at two. So that maybe was better. I don't know. It's been shitty floors. That being said... Apologies, I just had to blow my nose just a little bit there. A silent nose blowing. Ask your mother about that. Um, no, but as a result of this, uh, I should be... Uh, I, I think I made the right decision, but uh, the uh, HP upgrades that I've gotten so far can only carry me so far. I really need the RNG at some point uh, to either give me more upgrades, better upgrades, uh, stop giving me useless items, or give me the opportunity to maybe damage myself, or not damage myself, but up my damage a little bit by way of uh, a deal with the devil. We'll see if it comes to that. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm not just slamming this hero font card right away, it, you know, boils down to my philosophy that I would rather save spirit hearts for later because spirit hearts, once you use them, they're gone forever. Like, I, I would rather absorb damage on the catacombs um, by way of my red hearts, which I can then just, you know, replenish by the number of red hearts available on the level, uh, than, you know, waste a hero font card uh, when that health could actually be more valuable later. Basically, um, you know, Red hearts, they can give you value multiple times. The spirit hearts can only give you value once. So you want to make sure, uh, at least I think, that you use them in the most uh, likely scenario to when they can most likely benefit you, I guess I should say. Super Greed is dead. Uh, we're going to get back to full health and we're going to snag a decent chunk of money as well, along with the treasure chest containing uh, even more money. So unfortunately, all of the shops so far have been worthless, but... If we do manage to get one at some point, we can buy uh, basically everything in it. Okay, Spelunker Sad. This lends some credence to the idea that the um, uh, RNG is tied to like your system clock, because I'm recording this basically right after I recorded the last episode. And we're getting a lot of the same items. Uh, okay, maybe one of the best dodges I've made in like... Okay, and then followed by the worst damage. But um, previously, like one of the best dodges that I've made in, uh, you know, maybe the last few dozen episodes. Um... Anyway, we, you know, the Spelunker set worked out very well for us last time. We ended up picking up a lot of money, but, you know, too much money to a certain extent because we couldn't even buy everything that we wanted to. Oh, sorry, we, we could buy more than everything that we wanted to, which is a quality problem to have, admittedly. Uh, but also, you know, what's the point in having 99 cents? Uh, sometimes it would be better to have uh, other things show up in the secret room, I suppose. But as is right now, uh, so far so good. We still have to use bombs to get into the secret room, which is why this is so much worse than x-ray goggles. But there's more money for us, and I expect that we will continue on with that. Uh, the really, not even unsung, but the, the, the real benefit over something like, um... Uh, or sorry, of something like the Spelunker's Hat is the idea that these second secret rooms may contain, uh... Beautiful items like, uh, Eternal Hearts. Or trinkets that maybe we could use, but Cancer's already a really good trinket. That was a bad use of that, uh... Existing Red Heart there. What I will be doing here is using the hero font card uh, now, and that's to kind of protect me as I... Uh, just pick that up without playing the blood bank. That's to protect me as I um, play that blood bank, to make sure that I have enough health to, to still survive on this floor. And if there's an eternal heart, we can't play the blood bank anymore, but I figured we'd come in here nonetheless. Okay, that's cool. So it's good to have... We could have played the blood bank better. This this has not been min-maxed, as it always is not min-maxed, but... Um, we will be probably snagging an HP upgrade on this floor, unless I end up going up against the hardest boss of all time. We could end up fighting the Fallen, that would be dangerous. We could end up fighting... Uh, Mask of Infamy shows up on the next set of floors, so we couldn't end up fighting Mask of Infamy. Anyway, by way of Book of Belial, I'm pretty confident that no matter what boss we fight, we'll probably be alright, and uh, another HP upgrade is extremely valuable. Plus, uh, maybe a chance for a deal with the Devil. It's been an okay floor so far, I think, anyway. Uh, it would be nice if I could actually hit the enemy here. And he's dead. Another bomb for us is actually pretty important as well. Uh, is there anything else of value on this floor? It's a damn good question. Uh, we've already been to the item room in the shop, but there's like 70 rooms left available, apparently. We'll um, just kind of hang out here. We've got the range to pay the bills. That doesn't rhyme, but, you know, if you exclusively allow your life lessons to come in the form of rhymes, then you're, you're probably going to commit some crimes. There you go. There's one for you. Um... He is dead, thankfully. I don't know what this pill does, and I'm not a uh, cane, so I'm a little nervous about just taking it in case it causes us some issues. That was very lucky dodging again. Uh, that was good dodging. I'll give myself credit where credit is due here. Um, 
I, I made a smart decision there for once. We'll probably go to this curse room, but of course, first I want to just finish off the rest of the floor and make sure that I wouldn't lose my eternal heart going into the curse room. And this is one of the easier bosses that we could be fighting, uh, but, it, you know, if, if this sentence make, makes sense to you, it's also one of the hardest versions of this boss that we could be fighting because the bomb flies are going to be real damn annoying. Uh, and will probably cost me some health as they explode near me uh, due to a chain reaction or otherwise. Now, they also crowd up the shit on the screen, which is making things real tough to dodge here. Uh, got like 20 different things moving simultaneously. Okay, there we go. Slow down, but also like the most beautiful um, chain reaction I could have asked for there. So let's try to take out Bombfly uh, Patient Zero here. And finally, there. Okay, so we got to, uh, the 8-ball, which is really bad, but Justice gives me at least a key. And a bomb and money, but none of those are as valuable. Alright, so our red chest in here just contains spiders. This has not been my run from a luck standpoint, but uh, as a result of this eternal heart, one second, shifting my chair to a more comfortable position. As a result of this eternal heart, we'll get a little bit more damage, and our damage is actually pretty good. Uh, and our health is pretty good, honestly, at, you know, from the perspective of someone who usually does not have this much health as Judas. But we need a little bit more, that should be obvious. Probably like two more rooms left here, so uh, I am a little concerned because uh, I still have the possibility of losing my eternal heart. It's low, but it exists. We'll probably... Yeah, I can't justify opening it, but it would be so good, so let's do it. Uh, oh, okay, this is actually a damage upgrade. And you're not supposed to use Book of Belial when you, uh, when you, uh, walk into the room. I remember that now, but that's fine. It actually didn't cause a double spawn here, so that's cool. Um, yeah, that, it's an awesome damage upgrade. I think it also gives us a speed upgrade. Now, I might eat my words. Maybe, um, you know, this is, like, the, uh, other, uh, syringe that actually it says, like, speed plus damage or damage plus range. But it's actually just range. I don't know. Um, I don't think so, though. It seemed like we were doing a lot more damage there. So this pill... Could be good, could be bad. What we will end up doing is taking it down to the next floor just in case it uh, is awful. And am I missing anything else? Well, I guess we could take the other pill down, but I don't think it's worth it. In any case, I am thrilled uh, that I ended up going with the uh, mob trap room there. It ended up working out pretty well. We'll pick up our spirit heart and it's down to the next floor. Uh, so we have now banked our HP. Let's immediately lose it via a health down pill. Ah, it's actually a tears up pill, which is pretty good. See, that's you gotta call the troll engine's bluff at every opportunity. So this is our primary secret room. Secondary secret rooms are almost exclusively going to be better for us as a result of the um, the fact that we already have 44 cents and thus are not very likely to need more money, and that's the most likely thing that's going to be in these primary secret rooms. But uh, I digress. So, you know, we'll take what we can get. We've got two bombs, so we can go to both of the rooms anyway. This has showed us where the second secret room is. We had to go to this one to go to the other one anyway, I guess. So um, it's, it's the fish head. That's pretty nasty, actually. Like, not just gross, but also uh, not very good for us at all. We already have the cancer trinket, so... You know, that would be an awesome item for us to get on the uh, on this floor. It would be, uh, obviously, the mom's purse, so that we could actually pick up... Uh, or hold on to this cancer trinket, which is actually a pretty integral part of our damage-dealing strategy right now. Only got one key? Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. I should probably be using Book of Belial uh, more often. Because right now I'm basically just using it for boss fights and, and mob trap rooms and mini bosses. But, uh, you know, the good news is that we're not in a situation where I have to use Book of Belial in order to do damage. And that's something that, uh, you know, is something to be thankful about as uh, Judas. Because it's nice to have that much damage that you can actually afford to be a little, I don't know, ineffective with your use. Inefficient with your use of uh, Book of Belial. So, uh, I am killing these guys before they can actually hit me, which is very nice. I really do not need to get that money. I think I'm gonna, gonna go to the shop, uh, instead of the, uh, item room. And the reason for that is that I have enough money that if a key shows up there, I'll just buy that and whatever item is in there. And we also have a huge item of, uh, or a huge pool of items in the shop that, uh, could potentially be very valuable. Whereas right now, you know, I mean, there's a huge pool of items in the item room that could be very valuable as well, but, you know... The, the odds of us getting them, I guess, are proportionally a little bit less. Plus, we could get the key in the shop, so that that tilts things in, in the shop's favor, I think. So, yes, I will sacrifice another spirit heart to come in here, and we pick up a spirit heart and uh, get nothing of value, but um, but experience, I guess, and a little bit of a charge on the Book of Belial. And, uh, you know, contrary to the way that I was planning this floor, we actually are going to be fighting the boss right off the bat. There's not too much uh, advantage to that because uh, we don't have a D6, so it doesn't really matter when we fight the boss. As long as our health is good, then all other things are equal. 
I'm very glad that we're not fighting war here, because at, at this point, I, I've given up the dream uh, of snagging, a, like, an awesome Meat Boy analog, right? Like, normally that's what you want, I guess, uh, if you're going to fight these guys. It would be nice to get one orbital, but we could always just get, like, a pretty fly pill at some point. This is obviously not the ideal way to fight Monstro 2, either, but he had kind of forced my hand by trapping himself in that wall. So you fire the laser, and then we'll get back down here, and we'll just, okay, do the same old song and dance. I think by way of um, the Magic 8-Ball, like, my knockback is too strong. We actually did finally earn a deal with the Devil. This could be uh, comeuppance for us. We might as well get the ability to fly. There's no, I mean, I get it every single time, and I understand that that's annoying for some people. Uh, too bad, basically. <laughs> it's, it's too good not to take. In fact, I probably should have waited uh, to check out the curse room because now I've paid a little bit uh, more health than I had to otherwise. Anyway, ah, another key. That means the item room is absolutely open for business. I almost went to the golden chest instead. And our item room is the hourglass, another item that showed up in our last run. That's pretty shitty. Uh, not just that it showed up twice, but that that's, you know, an actually very shitty item, especially in comparison to Book of Belial. Anyway, of course, you don't need me to tell you that the ability to fly is an exceptionally valuable uh, pick up here, and now we're gonna hope that the shop provides us with a little bit more value uh, We're definitely gonna open that other golden chest as well nuns habit sure nuns habit uh, and spirit heart Which I will buy now and kind of uh, Contrary to my uh, initial assessment that spirit hearts are not valuable now. We have the money. We might as well Maybe this one will make up will uh, make a difference Somehow um, it's not a good start here It's only five cents though even if I end up losing it It's not gonna make an uh, appreciable impact on the quality of the run I would say and this one's going a little bit faster than the uh, the last run, which is a good sign, I suppose. Yeah, sure, let's do it this way. We got one penny out of this, that's horrible. Uh, and I did summon a double wave. Apparently, let's just say that this is a challenge run. Uh, and the challenge is that every time I go into a mob trap room, I, I summon a double wave. It's actually very easy to deal with. Um, mostly because my, my damage is pretty good right now. Now, is that another tiers upgrade, or is that the pill that I did not take on the last floor? I think that's the pill I didn't take on the last floor. I'll take it now, I don't care. Let's give it a try. And if only we could find... Hey, that's pretty good. Wow, it's okay, anyway. If only I could find a, um, a blood bank or a temperance card. What is this? Tears up. Yes, please. Uh, the reason we're playing this should be pretty obvious. I need more keys. Uh, the hearts are meaningless right now, but more keys would be beautiful so I could actually g guarantee myself some value on the next floor by way of the shop and the item room. Well, no, I guess it's not guaranteed because we could very well end up fighting greed. More bombs is fine, too. Mostly, it's like, there's a very, very small chance that uh, I'm not going to have enough money to buy what I want to buy on the next floor. It would, it would have to be like a judgment and a shop. Maybe even two judgments and a shop, depending on how greedy the first judgment was for me to run out of money. But <clears throat> we'll, we'll probably play this till we get down to 20 cents, because at that point, that's where we could buy an item and a key from the shop on the next floor. So, ah, there we go. Cool. Oh, we'll keep playing this until we get down to 20 cents. The more keys, the merrier. Or bombs, or spirit hearts, or tarot cards, you know, just... Hook me up with whatever you feel is best. And next floor in our shop. Blue candle, compass, um... I don't really want the map. Blue, blue couple, uh, blue couple? What is that? Um, I'm just playing it one more time, just in case. Um, blue, blue candle, compass... That's about it, maybe? Mom's purse, I guess, would be also very good. Uh, or even the coin purse, because I know that the pills that I have are relatively okay, but I would rather that, that, that's like on the tail end of my list of usefulness. With this, um, remaining tower card, I am going to come back here to the slot machine and we'll just try to blow it up basically for free instead of wasting a bomb. And, uh, it appears that the bombs are going to completely skirt around it, so never mind, but at least we disposed of it in a safe way. It's like a hazardous waste, right? You gotta get it out of the way, uh, in a safe way, otherwise you're gonna find yourself in, I don't know, problems with the EPA, maybe. So, uh, how are we doing so far? Middling, I would say. And that's not necessarily meant to be like, oh, woe is me, like I only have a lot of damage upgrades and nuns have it and the ability to fly and three health is Judas, but, um, you know, we probably need a little bit more if we're gonna, uh, come out on top here, but I seem to say that every run, and, uh, we seem to still pull it out every run, so maybe I'm full of shit, I guess is what I'm saying. Now, um, if I could just... I, sh I should be able to be 100% safe from the... Uh, the cogs, they're not really cogs, I guess, from the, the spikes here. Uh, and more spirit hearts, the better. The, you normally do not get this kind of frequency. I might as well use Book of, uh, Book of Belial more often. If I'm gonna take damage, then I might as well use Book of Belial, because we get an extra, you know, half charge on it, uh, just from taking damage. I didn't think I would take damage from this room, but, uh, this is more or less guaranteed, hasn't it? 
Uh, I guess more items that make Book of Belial more useful would be fine, too. We'll see, though. Um, first things first, I'm going to take out all of these angel fetuses. And we'll talk about the possibility of getting into this uh, boss trap room, which I obviously want because there's a fairly real chance that there would be HP in there. As is, uh, I traded half a spirit heart for effectively nothing there, which sucks pretty hard, but we do have two keys, so I can't feel too bad. Item room and shop uh, on this floor are going to be very important. And I'm not using Book of Belial yet, uh, because I do worry that... Ah, we're on the depths part, too. This is probably one of the tougher rooms that we'll come across, even though it is uh, very easy. All right, a little bit more money. Unlikely to come in handy, but you never know. Our boss room is uh, something that we should not invest our time into yet, because that would uh, effectively stop me from getting the shop and the uh, boss trap room and the item room on this floor, so that's a, an awful play. We definitely do not want to do that. Uh, instead, we will just slowly... Kind of finish off this floor, finish off, um, your find our item room, find our shop, and then, uh, hopefully, you know, polish this run a little bit until it's, uh, a little bit less, um, a little bit more lustrous, shall we say, because right now it's not, uh, particularly shiny. It's not like a ponyta that anyone on YouTube that was listening to Sum 41 would be excited about. This is a, uh, Book of Belial ready room. And I'm, ah, I thought maybe I'd get to be able to get out of there without getting hit. Uh, hopefully I can get out of this room without getting hit twice. That's my, my new goal. Uh, and I should be able to make it happen. Oh, I really thought I got hit again. That, you know, kudos to you, garbage man. This is exactly what I was hoping for, actually, is uh, not not getting hit twice on that shitty room, but uh, I, please blow up the TNT. Thank you. The Ouija board sometimes, uh, well, combined with Spirit of the Night, real annoying. Uh, we're going to uh, go to this boss trap room. The arcade was exactly what I was hoping for. That's how I was going to finish that sentence. Because uh, now I can go to the boss trap room. And actually, that paid out at basically exactly the right time. As long as I don't accidentally pick up that heart, uh, I should still be able to walk into that mob trap or Sorry, boss trap room. Maybe snag an HP upgrade there. And then, you know, also, that is a coin purse. Okay, this is... Two of those are uh, speed upgrades, I think. Which I probably don't want to take. I think one of them is a tears upgrade. Why am I not using Bo Book of Belial here? Um, but we will get a, actually, I probably don't want to take any of the speed upgrades because there's also a, um, uh, an, a speed upgrade associated with the blood bag. So I would probably be a little too fast for my own good there. So I'll probably avoid taking one of those. We will take the white pill just to see if it's amazing. Uh, if it's a health down, then I guess it's, this is a carbon neutral kind of trade here. Ooh, I almost got hit there, but the ability to fly makes it so easy for me to just avoid the creep. Oh my god. And then of course, just, no, he keeps hitting me into the pills, so I keep... Getting the old ye old recurring Zelda. Um, okay, so uh, this is not a tears up. This is a health up. Oh yeah, that's actually pretty important. And what is this one? We don't know what this one is. Not health down. Bombs are key. Pretty much a neutral trade there. All right, so we're gonna be at five HP. Uh, we lost all our spirit hearts. That's kind of shitty, but uh, otherwise this is pretty good. We still have an item room and a shop to go to on this floor as well. We picked up two HP upgrades. One of them is effectively a speed upgrade, but I consider that basically neutral. Uh, and, well, I guess that's about it so far, but still, pretty good. So there's our shop. This is a, a moment of truth for sure. Guppy's Paw at the end of the womb part one would be very nice uh, to give me, you know, maybe 16, or maybe 18 spirit hearts that I could use if I get one more HP upgrade, which is realistic. I had a feeling we'd end up fighting greed again. This is really unfortunate, so, you know, we went to basically, we went to every shop but one, I think. We didn't go to the shop on the very first floor. We fought two greeds. I had the opportunity to pick up Portable Slot. We did buy Nun's Habit, and it was like Portable Slot, Notched Axe in the other shops. Greed, Super Greed, Portable Slot, Notched Axe, Nun's Habit, and then one shop we didn't go to. Pretty bad payout, um, or pretty bad yield, I guess I should say, uh, from all of the uh, the shops that we went to. To not even get the opportunity to buy, um, well, I, okay, I'm, I'm being a big baby here. I was gonna say to not even get the opportunity to buy one item is pretty sad, but Nun's Habit is maybe uh, one of the better items in the shop. Well, not maybe one of the better items. It is one of the better items. Uh, no question about it. Now, item room is our final uh, course of action here. We actually did find a tinted rock, which is nice because I could use the small rock upgrade, uh, which would put me at, you know, the, the speed down is meaningless, let's be honest. When I'm already traveling this fast, it might actually be warranted, and actually we did pick it up. So, this floor, I would say, has turned out uh, very nicely for us. And we've gotten so many damage upgrades over the course of this run. Normally, uh, you can't really rely on them except in the form of uh, Deal with the Devil, so... Especially combined... I, I almost consider the Nun's Habit to be a damage upgrade because we, uh... We'll get way more use out of Book of Belial, which is obviously a damage upgrade. And we get the Holy Water, which is, you know, bad. 
And I'm mad because it's bad, but we'll pick it up anyway. The Mad Bad, my favorite uh, YouTube Let's Player, obviously. Also, I think he might have been uh, an apostle. Anyway, we're going to go to the left and uh, fight Mom, and that should be easy. And then shit's going to get real on the womb, and it's going to get real, real fast as well. With only five Red Heart containers, I don't hold out a substantial amount of hope that uh, this is going to be uh, an easily won run. We are going to be giving up the uh, Cancer Trinket as well. Which is pretty scary, because this is uh, something that very much benefits us from a damage dealing standpoint. As you can see though, we are tearing up Mom, so... You know, if, if we use Mom as kind of like a proof of concept that we can beat the womb, which is not necessarily a horrible way to think about things, then... Um, th this is pretty okay for now. And that was really easy. We got fucked by the RNG again by getting uh, Cat of Nine Tails, which I'm not even going to pick up. But now it's down to the next floor, and thank God I didn't leave the Polaroid behind. So, Curse of the Lost. Um, that's going to make for a bigger floor. We can't see, we don't have the map anyway, so we can't really see where we're going. This, it, it's weird to have a run where, like, I've gotten some decent items, no question about it, and very good luck with, uh, with pills and things like that. Um, but it still would be kind of a triumph if I managed to win with this. Think about all the item rooms that turned out to be absolutely worthless. Like, item rooms and shops were borderline awful on this run. Uh, we got one devil room, that's pretty good. Is there any, uh, just money in here. Uh, we got one Devil Room that paid out with a Spirit of the Night. We got this, the, the main advantages we've gotten in this run have come in the form, do we know what this is? Ooh, it's scary. Yeah, I was worried about that. The main advantages that we've gotten on this run have come in the form of, uh, pills. The, now is, like, less so now, but the HP upgrade and the tiers upgrade and, um, you know, and also other consumables, like random Spirit Heart drops, uh, managing to pick up the small rock, pretty nice, from a, a Tinted Rock. Uh, as well as the Eternal Heart on the first floor. So, th like, that has been the vast majority of our, um, where, where the vast majority of our improvement has come from, I think. You know, we've also gotten things like Jesus Juice from bosses. That's fine, I guess. We got a decent amount of HP upgrades early from bosses, which is nice to kind of keep you afloat. Speed upgrade is worthless. Uh, probably not even worth opening that chest. And we'll use a bomb here, and hopefully we'll find an Eternal Heart. Uh, it's a fortune teller. So this is, uh, again, another situation where it's almost certainly in my best interest to play the bejesus out of this fortune teller. It's a little bit scarier than when I did it on the last run, because uh, on the last run, I was in a position where uh, I had Mom's purse, so even if I pick up, picked up the tick, we'd be fine. But for now, I'm just going to take a sip of my water. Oh, no! I accidentally hit E! I put my other hand on the keyboard well, as I was trying to take a sip of water with my left hand and accidentally blew up the fortune teller. Okay, well, still, water is necessary. And, um, you know, obviously that s could have major far-reaching implications, actually. As much as I'd love to say, like, oh, we just blew up a fortune teller, no big deal. You know, if that fortune teller was going to pay out with, um, either the crystal ball, which actually may be, uh, may be a decent replacement for Book of Belial, if I'm looking more for survivability than damage, um, if, if it had paid out with that, or if we'd found ourselves in a situation where maybe it paid out with a number of spirit hearts that I wouldn't have otherwise gotten, then, um... Well, the good news is we'll never know, so uh, maybe it's better to stay uh, ignorant in this situation. Probably Book of the Wild is a good idea here. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I have no doubt that we will be able to survive this floor. It's Euro 1. Could be tricky, I guess, but there's so many red hearts. Chad drops hearts all the time. We've got the Lover's card. Like, our, our safety is basically guaranteed for now. Uh, it, it's as we get a little bit further, and this is really our last floor until the chest where we get like a substantial guaranteed yield. Um, so we need to we need a high payout here. I would really like to get, uh, yeah, two half hearts is the perfect uh, amount here. I would really like to get an HP upgrade followed by a deal with the devil where we get mom's knife. That would make me feel a little bit better. Although it's worth noting that we'd still be in a pretty rough spot because our, our health would be really bad there. Um, Apart from that, I'm not really sure. A guppy's paw might be the best thing to keep me alive. Like, if, if, if I get a guppy's paw, then uh, I'll have 15, uh, no, only 14 spirit hearts. Sorry, I'm doing the math terribly wrong. 12 spirit hearts. Um, that's not that's not enough. That's, that's enough to cover the screen, but it's certainly not enough for me to tank bosses in the later game. Um... And I wouldn't even be, like, deliberately tanking bosses, just like the, the damage I would take just from being on those fights. That Spirit Heart may or may not be beneficial, but I'm, I'm glad we got it nonetheless. I um, want to blow up this... Oh, no! A little scary. I uh, want to blow up the green fly so we can start a chain reaction and hopefully take out the other spiders, but didn't really work out that way. It's all good, though. Um, 
future. Okay, the bomb's fine. We we have to be coming close to the end of this floor soon. Not having a compass is so goddamn grating. Again, this is why uh, something like Crystal Ball from the Fortune Teller would have been such a big get. Not just because it sometimes drops spirit hearts or game-changing tarot cards, uh, but also its ability to show you exactly where to go on the map. These, uh, y you know, you might be saying, oh, hearts without masks. Like, that's... Not only my favorite My Chemical Romance song, but it's also a pretty easy room to deal with. But it's not really. Because of the kind of unpredictable way that they move and the, the quickness with which they shoot, they're still pretty difficult to deal with. By the way, it should be uh, obvious. Ooh, well, I'll we'll pick it up, I guess. should be obvious at this point if you've watched a lot of uh, Isaac, either from me or other people who are better than me. Uh, but if you're wondering why I am... Um, Keeping myself at a half heart instead of going up to, uh, you know, absolutely full health. It's to get that extra little uh, permanent Polaroid invincibility that will uh, come about if I end up getting to a half heart interval that you don't get if you uh, die. Or sorry, if you if you go down to one full heart, you don't get the Polaroid invincibility, which is pretty important uh, in some situations where, you know, you, you don't have a big margin of error when it comes to potential victory. Another spirit heart here is pretty lucky. <clears throat> okay, so... Uh, I should be able to keep myself out of harm's way, he says, right before uh, taking damage. That's fine, we can just, uh, hmm. I could use a bomb. I can't, oh, I can walk him on the spikes because I can fly. That was silly of me. Uh, beautiful. We do have um, the bloat, which is going to be a tricky fight, but uh, I have Book of Belial as well. So, actually, this should be pretty easy. The only thing that's a major concern is either accidentally getting within his field of view and not getting out of the way in time. Yeah, like that, which was really awful. Or um, the eyes interacting kind of weirdly with one another and colliding with rocks or something like that and bouncing around more than I would like them to. Okay, so, I mean, this is the worst way to take out the bloat, but I, I'm kind of at my wit's end with respect to patience right now. So, uh, you usually want to wait until he finds himself um, at the bottom of the map. And then you just kind of swing in and deal some damage. But, uh, of course, then he chooses to jump a thousand times. So we get an HP upgrade. That's good. Uh, but no deal with the devil. I don't think I can avoid picking up that red heart, unfortunately. So this is what we're going to be stuck with. It's going to be a wild ride. I uh, I anticipate that we will get through Utero 2 A-OK. -okay, and then, um, then it's going to be uh, every man for himself, I guess. Which is my way of saying, we're fucked. No, it's, <laughs> it's my way of saying... Things are going to be a little tough. Uh, we theoretically uh, could beat the cathedral. Uh, sorry, I should say, like, beating Isaac seems 50% realistic. Now, nah, what's the point, right? Like, that is a half red heart. Okay, I'm not going to play that thing a thousand. Oh, maybe I will play it a thousand times, actually, because we could possibly snag Brimstone. Okay. We may have a better chance now. This is basically something that had to happen uh, if, if we were going to have a, a decent chance of victory. It was just like a random good item. There are so many people that think that Brimstone is like an automatic victory, which it is not. Uh, it, it's actually, it, it's still very much up in the air. This has not turned our, uh, Mom's knife in this situation may have turned this run from like, oh no. Okay, well actually it's a good thing I used the lover's card there. I don't know why I keep using this keyboard wrong. Um, maybe we'll get a half heart out of one of these is my thinking, but anyway. Um, Mom's knife, if I would picked that up, I might have been like, okay, now I'm like 60% confident that we'll win this run. Brimstone, it, it, it positively uh, affects my thoughts on how this run will go. But uh, it certainly doesn't make it, uh, you know, a no-brainer that we're going to win at all. I, I think Brimstone's one of those items that, weirdly enough, I think it's awesome, but I also think it's a, a little overrated uh, because everybody seems to think that it, it's a game winner when it's it's oftentimes... I, I guess I should pick it up and then put it back down. Everybody seems to think it's a game-winning item when it is only a game-winning item situationally. That's my thoughts on the matter anyway. That being said, it is very, very good. It's weird to say that a good item is overrated, but I think it's it's overrated among people that watch Isaac. When you actually play it yourself, you you, you realize like it, it's it's very good, but it is by no means a, an instant win. Anyway, th there's my brimstone rant, as one might expect. I'm not even gonna pick up extra hearts at this point. We're gonna get so many more from uh from uh what's his name dropping them, little Chad. So we'll just get our bombs in here. Uh, that didn't work. Sometimes you get like weird. It's not really a scripting error, but um. Just kind of a weird uh, interaction there. I mean, as you can see right here, I'm not brim snapping. Our damage with brimstone is not stellar. It's pretty good, and the main benefit of brimstone, I feel like most people think it's like, oh, it's super high damage. That's not the main benefit of brimstone. The main benefit of brimstone is that you can hit enemies uh, with a decent amount of damage all at once. So uh, the benefit is much less so like, oh, I have extra damage, and much more like I can hit multiple enemies uh, simultaneously. 
So uh, something like that becomes much more feasible, whereas with tears, I would have found myself in a little bit more of a, a dodging stalemate, shall we say. But anyway, we're going to get through the Mom's Heart boss fight quite easily, as you can see. And we are going to get the four and a half hearts, which is pretty much exactly what I predicted. I, I still think that it's, it's a relatively... It's a tight run here. It's going to be touch and go to see if we're going to be able to beat Isaac. Um, I would love to go into this fight with full health, and even if we do, I, I think it's fairly realistic that I could find myself dying. I mean, you can see the damage that I'm doing on this run relative to the damage that I was doing on the last run. Oh, beautiful. Yes, Transcendence. Fantastic. I wish when you got, like, a second flying item after you'd already taken Spirit of the Night, it would, uh, like, refund the hearts that you spent on it. Because I'd find myself in kind of a rough spot now. Uh, Health-wise. Well, you know, I would love to have more heart containers. I wouldn't necessarily say I'm in a rough spot yet, but if I take two hits, then things get uh, very, very tight for me here. Um... But there's there's renewed hope that maybe this run has the possibility to succeed now that I have uh, an item that is a little bit uh, on the stronger side and, and makes it more likely... The main benefit of Brimstone here, you know, not to keep harping on this Brimstone issue, but is that it makes it uh, much easier for me to take out the rooms leading to bosses. It doesn't necessarily make it substantially easier that I kill the bosses, although it might for some bosses for sure, but we're only encountering like two more bosses for the rest of the game. Alright, that Eternal Heart is something that we will um, pick up when we leave this floor. If we leave this floor alive, anyway. Um, ooh, that was a little, little tight there. Apparently tight is the word of the day. We should still be fine here, though. Okay, lucky me. And the steam sale, too. Wow, must be my birthday. Um, yeah, the, the main benefit is that it allows us to uh, take out these rooms, as you can see, very easily. And also, you know, the, the unlimited range is nothing to sneeze at when you're taking out enemies that explode in your face. You big disgrace, waving your brimstone all over the place, saying, we will, we will. Ah, I'd probably go with Doc you in that case. Um, okay. We have another chain reaction and another heart that I don't want to pick up. If I find a blood bank, we can cash in on it pretty nicely. What is our, our golden chest is a full red heart, which is also uh, equally a waste. I wonder if there's a second secret room on the cathedral. There may or may not be. I'm not 100% sure. This is probably worth using um, Book of Belial on. Yep, that was nasty. <laughs> I, I really should have been able to get out of the way. It was just like his incredibly slow-moving approach made it uh, seem more scary than it was, I guess. Or more unavoidable than it was. Luckily, there's a ton of red hearts available for us on this floor. And because there's a ton of red hearts available on this floor, we will absolutely lose one to go into this room. Where we will get a troll bomb, which is uh, absolutely worthless. Can't forget this eternal heart if we manage to live. If we pick it up now, it's uh, a consummate failure, because I'm definitely going to lose that health. Um, but if I pick it up when I leave this floor, because you can leave the eyes of fail, that answers my question about is there a second secret room, um, then that might give me the HP necessary to survive, combined with some of the items that maybe we get after we uh, go to the chest. Um, that being said, it is actually kind of tempting, believe it or not, to pick up the... Um, uh, it's worth it for a while. It's kind of tempting to pick up the uh, Eternal Heart just because it would give me one extra hit of survivability on the boss fight. And that might not seem like it's that important. I assure you that it may be that important. Uh, we can easily take out Loki 1. Loki 1 sounds like a sweet like spaceship name or something. Um, but we've reached another dead end. And you know what? Surprisingly, the Cathedral has gone very well so far. Of course, the Eternal Heart is awesome. Uh, apart from that, we've, we've mostly just survived. And that's very beneficial. Now again, I have to, you know, drop the, the uh, proof here that I'm not brim snapping. Maybe uh, next time I walk in and I, I fight like one enemy, I'll do a brim snap so you can see the difference in damages. But you, also, you can probably just hear me, you know, not constantly tapping on the keyboard. Or you can just trust me because I have nothing to gain by brim snapping. It's not like, you know, YouTube sends me an extra check or something if I actually succeed on these Isaac runs. That would be nice though. Uh, extra bombs is good. Um, uh, we, we haven't been hit, so I actually don't have Book of Belial charged up, unfortunately. Probably a good thing anyway. We're, we've got to be getting close to the boss room. And th this is the other reason, obviously, Brimstone is super nice. We can do basically double damage to a boss like Loki, which apparently shows up all the fucking time at this point in the game. And we've reached a slot machine, which doesn't interest me too much. Can't really pay out with anything but the dollar or, um, you know, consumable red hearts. Spirit heart drops can happen from the slot machine, but it's very rare. Oh, that was bad. It's fine. We, we still have more than enough health. And I don't think there's any need to use a uh, Book of Belial charge here. These enemies are one-shotters, so... Should be able to move on just fine. Um, yep, that's exactly as much as we want. We don't know what this pill does. We'll save that for a rainy day. 
All right. This is our boss fight. This is a scary one. And we'll quickly go uh, power up here. So we've got Book of Belial. How much damage does Brimstone do? Maybe, ooh, maybe 3% per shot. So this is actually fine. It's just gonna be a war of attrition, right? Like he's, oh, that was bad. He's obviously not firing too much at me. Wow, okay, uh, hopefully we get stacked damage by this Book of Belial. I don't think we do. Um, I, I can't afford to take that damage, let's put it that way. But this could be a, a full health pill. So all is not lost yet. I mean, we could still just take zero damage over the rest of this fight, but it's extremely unlikely that I'll take zero damage with the uh, angel fetuses and also the homing shots, which are particularly annoying. Watch this just be like a bad gas pill or something like that. In any case, I've got to gamble on it. If I, well, if I have to gamble on it, I have to gamble on it. it. Should be angel fetuses now, after this shot, I guess. Okay, angel fetuses mean we're gonna have to be a little trickier. That was not good. Uh, I should be using bombs here. But I also shouldn't be moving as much as I am. Makes it probably a little bit more likely that I'll get hit by um, those beams of light from heaven. And I'm waiting to use... Um, uh, scary. Waiting to use this um, pill until I get down to half a heart, just in case it's a bad trip. I, I can't remember if we've already had a bad trip on this one. Um, but it looks like we're going to beat Isaac here. Through good play, this is not just Brimstone carrying us. That's pretty strong play. Uh, and I, th this means we'll be taking the pill down to the next floor, amazingly enough. Um, and we, maybe this will come in handy for us. Obviously, we want to get as much health as is humanly possible, as well as uh, this eternal heart. And we should be able to get all the way back up uh, to, to full health, or, you know, four and a half, which is where we want to be. Oh, this is an exciting one. Uh, I kind of expected that maybe we had a decent chance to beat Isaac, but uh, it, it was touch and go. I probably could have actually afforded to have taken a lot less damage uh, overall. We have six keys. Uh, we have exactly as much health as we want to. So the chest is a, a realistic possibility. It, it should say there's a realistic possibility I'll get some decent items. If we get a lot of damage or... I can't imagine a better spacebar item than Book of Belial at this point. I don't know. I still think we're, we're probably in like the 20% range for actually beating the game here. But it's been a really, a really fun run regardless, so... It's hard for me to complain about it. Let's see what we've got going on in here. First, uh, Kamikaze. Exactly the same position it was in on the last run, if I remember correctly. Horror of Babylon. Uh, worthless, unless we get like a guppy's paw. All of these items are pretty bad. What I will say is that, um, you know, we'll take Horror of Babylon just in case. Uh, but what I will say is that there is a theoretical possibility that we can make something very nice happen with the D20. Uh, and by something nice, I, I sincerely mean, like, I don't know what it would be. <laughs> but maybe, just maybe, we can end up picking up some, some decent upgrades by way of that. Like, if this guy drops two bombs, we go grab the D20 and we come back in here. Uh, yeah, Charm of the Vampire are actually probably pretty useful. Potentially useful, anyway. Um, because Blue Baby does summon flies. Uh, so in here we fight Greed. This is actually probably the D20 zone. If I take a fuck ton of damage or if Greed drops a fuck ton of money, as he always does. I don't even want that red heart. We take the D20 and all of a sudden we have like a fairly decent uh, reroll situation here. I don't have a lot of keys in case we get golden chests, but maybe we pick up a lot of spirit hearts and, and Bob's your uncle. And then we start swinging a good game here. Uh, this is pretty bad. We'll pick up the red hearts for- Oh, I didn't need to pick up both of them. In fact, that made it a lot worse. Dad's key is terrible. One up. Potentially very useful. Uh, the pills. Pill number one. We don't know. We can now figure out. Balls of steel. Pretty good. Bombs are key. Yes. <laughs> and the other one in there is, is another balls of steel pill, so I will take that. So, that's pretty useful. I won't use this balls of steel pill until we get to the boss fight. Um, and we'll, we got the D20, so we'll, we'll continue to get a charge on the D20 if we find other rooms that are valuable um, for rerolls. Because, you know, that was obviously a, a very special case. Uh, but if there's another room that drops, like, a, a ton of shit, then, yeah, we'll, we'll get the use out of it for sure. Uh, even if it costs me, like, a couple Book of Belial charges, then I, I think the, the potential upside is there. If we end up winning, it, it will be, like, Book of Belial's uh, story for sure. Sorry, not, well, yes, Book of Belial story, but also the, the story of uh, a girl who cried a river and drowned the whole world. But then also a story of how the D20 was actually used effectively. So this room, I'm, I'm content to take the bombs, and this time we should probably use Book of Belial. I'm, I'm feeling more optimistic. The, the longer we go, the more optimistic I am. 
And it's true that um, actually if we had gotten down to half a heart in that Isaac boss fight and used Balls of Steel, that would have been amazing because we would have actually gotten three potential periods of Polaroid Invincibility, I think. Maybe two. Um, I might not be doing the math right. The last one might be when you die, which is you know, substantially less valuable because you're not there to experience it. Now, whoop, I did get hit. That's fine. The reason I'm saving this other Balls of Steel pill is, well, it should be pretty obvious. Uh, the, the later we use it, the better it is. So I came into a dead end here accidentally, and I used the death card, and it accomplished uh, basically nothing of value. This is the other reason that uh, Brimstone's so useful, uh, not just for the damage, but the ability to shoot enemies like this that normally require piercing tears. And that was very good as well. Pretty soon they should start moving diagonally, or they'll just die first? Okay. Maybe the, uh, the champion versions don't move diagonally. That's A-OK -okay by me. Uh, more red hearts. That might actually be a D20 worthy room. I don't know, I'm kind of looking for the boss, though. At this point, did I use the Balls of Steel pill? No, I couldn't have possibly. I, I used the Death card. Yeah, okay, we'll come back to the Balls of Steel pill. I think we're gonna win this one. It's, um, uh, it's not settled yet. And it's it certainly is very much still up in the air, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we could do this. I don't think there's any point in using Book of the Isle here, except Daddy Longlegs is annoying. Uh, but, you know, annoying doesn't necessarily mean difficult. It just means annoying. So, it might take five or six shots to kill him. This may indeed be one of the longest rooms we end up having to deal with on this floor. Oh my god, is he ever annoying. There we go. Okay, so we get him to do this little song and dance a couple times. We can probably hit him. Uh, that time was pretty bad. Oh, and I took damage, so... You know, maybe I should have used Book of Belial then. Daddy Longlegs will die uh, very soon, though. It's not dead yet? Okay. Now it's dead. And we get two bombs, which I'll take, because they are probably worth more damage. Okay, this is probably our next D20 room, if I had to guess. Although, um, I should probably try to kill Sloth last, because the tarot card that he drops could be worth a ton. Could, like a serious ton. Uh, ooh, that was scary. Not, not a literal ton, but like a serious ton. Like a ton of, of you know, John Grisham novels. Very serious. Uh, we gotta pick up the tarot card. What's the tarot card? Justice. Justice is very good because it allows us to, uh, get more value out of the d20. So I think we get our d20 and we get ready to get a charge out of it. Um, probably only take a couple of rooms here because I'll get hit at some point. And then we'll reroll all of these into something probably better. Five items is pretty good. This should be a relatively easy room, but I said that on the last run and then ended up taking damage on it. But any room where I, I don't feel like I need Book of Belial is nice because I'm using Book of Belial currently. Or I'm not using Book of Belial currently. Second secret room. Potentially also very useful. If Oh my god, if there's like the Red Heart room. It's not. There's Cursed Skull, which is really bad, but whatever. Uh, and this is another relatively easy room here. War is annoying. Uh, one of the more annoying like bosses to fight. Uh, one of the more annoying horsemen to fight, I should say. Uh, at the same time that you're fighting other enemies, but uh, in the end, it's not going to be too much more than a pussycat, quite frankly. Because we more than uh, have enough speed necessary to get away from him. So one or two more hits and he'll be dead. And we, we can get away from him very, very easily. So we're almost at the end of this run, I think. For better or for worse. Oh man, I still gotta do one more. Ooh, kinda close there. I still gotta do one more um, room to get the D6 charged up. And here we probably... Obviously, I, this should go without saying. I'm taking... Oh, you know what? We should totally kill Greed last. That gives us another awesome uh, deal with the Devil Room. Or, sorry, not deal with the Devil Room. D20 Room. Too many Isaac-related things. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're going to take the Book of Belial into the boss fight. That's a no-brainer. But, uh, the D20 we may stick with for a little while yet because it's worked out so very, very well. And, you know, if you're going to D20, I think this room's actually much better to do it on. And we will open the golden chest. We don't really need anything else, though. That's an HP upgrade. That's pretty important. Now, is the boss fight? We'll do exactly the same thing here. Kill uh, as I hit greed first. We'll kill greed last. Oh, that's a good bomb. Could have been anyway. Uh, and if I kill greed last, we'll get you know like a thousand sixty-nine cents here. And we can use the D20 to reroll those as well. That worked out very well. Just picking up that HP upgrade probably vastly improved our chances. It's amazing how, like, you know, just 
smart uses of your items can, uh, you know, well, this seems obvious now that I say it, but it can drastically improve your chances of success. Who would have thought, right? It's almost like I'm just going to take some damage. I know that seems crazy. Um, but the reason I'm taking damage here is because we have so much lifesteal and so many red hearts that uh, I, I feel like I should just get as many D20 charges as possible because I can obviously compensate for it. Especially since I haven't used the, um, I haven't used the uh, Balls of Steel pill yet. So, we got another D20 charge available. And, um, a tarot card. And the tarot card is Judgment. Which I will pop down. And why don't we just play Judgment right here? He paid out straight away with another HP upgrade. I'm a very lucky man. I think that should be obvious by now. Alright. Well, we got a lot of keys and money out of that. That's pretty worthless. Um... Okay, well, we'll pick up one HP upgrade here, and then we've still got to find this boss room. I think at this point, the D20 has probably run its course. We can maybe go back with the Book of Belial, but we'll see. I could be wrong. We, uh... This time, we would probably want to kill Sloth last, so that we can snag that beautiful, beautiful tarot card. Um, I hit him by accident, but Gluttony's got to be pretty close to death, too. I've hit Gluttony many times here. Okay, so this tarot card could be very important. Again, Justice basically gives us a free D20. Uh, not free D20, but a very nice D20 target. Uh, High Priestess. I don't even know if this works against Blue Baby. I, it might stomp us, but I think we should... Okay, so let's take Balls of Steel. That's a no-brainer. Let's get the Book of Belial ready. We're going to carry it into this boss fight. And... Ooh, it was pretty bad. Uh, I think we're in a very good position. Things could go wrong. High Priestess, obviously, is the foot that stomps down. Um, I believe that it'll stomp down on uh, Blue Baby, like, once, but it might stomp down on me, or it might just kill me instantly. If it does, good game. No, that, that definitely stomped down on Blue Baby. Uh, and again, I am not uh, brim snapping here. Just using good old-fashioned brimstone. It's the way Dad did it. That's the way America does it. And generic catchphrase. Alright, Dead Bird, I forgot we picked up on this floor. Uh... I don't think, there's there's not much that concerns me at this point. We're about halfway through this fight. I've taken a little damage, not very much. We will have a brief period of invincibility if I fall super behind. Um, I should be using more bombs, because that keeps me out of harm's way and it does a lot of damage. And it'll also help with the crowd control at this point. Ah, oh, I still got hit there, I can't believe it. I can believe it, let's be honest. Uh, I got hit again. I don't even know if Book of Belial gets a uh, benefit from stack charges. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. But I think we're going to come out of this ahead, which is kind of amazing to me. Yes, I will pick that up. And uh, we should be immune to death at this point. Wow, okay, that was another really long and really exciting run where I didn't think we'd pull it out, but we did. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode as much as I did, and I did, I encourage you to support me by clicking the like button. It's the easiest way to support me, and it really does help out a lot. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more Daily Isaac. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you next time.